In this video I'm going to show you how to use the puzzle Photoshop action. So the way the action works is you open up your photo, you simply brush or your subject with a color and just play the action. And here's the effect that the action creates. So as you can see what the action does, it transforms the photo into the pastel sketch. And uh, the results that you get are fully layered, so there is a lot of options for customizing the results that you get. And the action also creates 35 preset color looks that you can choose from. Right? So let me just close these two windows now. So when you open up your photo before you use the action, there are just a few things you should check just to make sure that the action will run without any errors. So the first thing that you should check is that your photo is a background layer. So it should be called background and have this little lock icon. So if you have something like this or anything else, just go to layer, new and choose a background from layer. Then click on this menu icon over here and choose panel options. And just make sure that this option here, the add copy to corporate layers and groups is checked. Then go to image mode and make sure your photo is in the RGB color mode 8 bit kernel. And also check the image size over here. So for best results, you should use the images that are around from 20 to 40, 100 pixels wide or high. All right. And to load the action, just go to window actions. Click on this menu icon over here, load actions. And now just choose the action from a folder according to our Photoshop version. You can just double click on the action file and the action will appear here in your uh, actions panel. And to load the brush, you can just hit B on your keyboard to select the brush tool. Right click anywhere inside the canvas, click on the gear icon over here, load brushes, and again just choose the uh, brushes file according from folder according to our Photoshop version. So you can just double click on the brush file and you will uh, load this brush in your uh, brush panel. Alright, so now all you have to do is to just go to layer, new layer to create a new layer and just name it brush. It's very important that you type the brush exactly like this, all letters lowercase, because otherwise the action won't work. So just choose OK and hit the keyboard, select uh, some soft brush and you can choose any color here, color it doesn't matter. Uh, and you can use square brackets on your keyboard to quickly change the size of the brush. And all you have to do is to just brush or your subject. Now you can change the hardness of the brush as you like or you can also, if you use a smaller soft brush, you're going to get uh, harder edges, right? So if you have uh, softer edges, uh, you also have the uh, smoother uh, transition uh, in the sketch effect, all right? So you can use a larger soft brush to have uh, smoother edges, or if you you can use the smaller brush or increase the hardness of the brush, all right? So I just got up my PSD file because I had already done brushing before. Here it is. So as you can see here, I used a bit harder edges and then on the top here at the bottom, I have used larger soft brush to make uh, uh, softer edges, all right? To get a uh, smoother transition uh, later in the effect. And all you have to do now is just play the action, but there's just one more thing I'm going to do before that. And that's, I'm going to uh, expand a canvas size a little bit, right? To get more space on the, on the sides here and on the bottom. So I'm just going to go to image canvas size, I'm going to check the reality option and just going to increase the width for uh, 500 pixels, right? And I'm going to go to image canvas size again and I'm going to click here, choose uh, this direction to increase the canvas size in this direction and just going to set here uh, 250 pixels to increase the canvas on the bottom. Right, so that's it. All you have to do now is just so I actually click play. So I'm going to fasten the video here and I'm going to get back as soon as the action is finished and then I'm going to go throughout all the layers to show you how each layer works, how it affects the design and how can you customize it. Right, so the action has just finished. So I'm just going to close the actions panel for now and I'm going to expand a little bit this layers panel. So the first thing that you probably want to do each time you run the action is to just quickly close down all these folders. So how can you click to that? Is to just hold control and down buttons for PC or command option for Mac. And while this folder is selected, just click on this little arrow here. And on that we are going to close down all the folders. So I'm going to start customizing the effect from the bottom, but before that, I'm just gonna hide this layer over here, and I'm going to explain later why. Alright, so the first layer that we got here is the background color layer. So what you can do is you can double click on this color box and you can choose any color that you like. Alright. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna choose this one here. All right. 
so it's a little bit a uh, darker shade of the previous one and um, the next layer we got here is the photo outlines right so if you just turn this layer off and down you can see the difference so it's going to create outlines of the whole photo not just the area that you brushed but the whole photo All right so now I got these frame here because I have expanded the canvas so what you can do is just select this layer mask you can hit B on your keyboard to select the brush tool pick a soft brush, set foreground color to black and you can just simply brush over these edges if you wish to remove them just like this alright and what you can also do is you can change the opacity of this layer here so what you need to do is just click on the word opacity and drag it aside or you can change the opacity by moving this slider over here All right. so the next folder we got here is the sketch textures folder so this is actually the uh, all textures all sketch uh, textures and uh, uh, they are layered as you can see so what you can do is you can just play with the opacities of each of these layers so to achieve different results all right and uh, what you can also do is if you wish to remove some texture or some area you can just repeat the same method we did for the photo outlines layer so select the layer mask pick a brush tool set foreground color to black and simply brush wherever you wish to remove that specific layer all right so the next layer that we got here is the subject details layer all right so as you can see it's going to reveal uh, details of your subject and well, this layer also has the uh, layer style over here, it is a drop shadow right, what you can do, you can double click on the drop shadow effect here and now you can make some changes, you can modify these uh, settings of this effect if you like or you can simply also hide this effect if you don't want to use it, right? so this layer also has a layer mask, so if you want to just make some ar uh, some areas of your subject to have less details visible, you can just brush with the black into this uh, layer mask over here and what you can also do is you can change the opacity of this layer All right. and here we got the subject details brightness so this layer is just going to make a uh, brightness adjustment uh, to this layer and what you can do is you can double click here and you can change the settings over here so you got the, the slider here that is boosting the shadows this one is boosting the highlights and this one here is fading the shadows this one here is fading the uh, highlights and this one is for the midtones right? so you can play with these settings here if you like I usually keep this one uh, default and the next folder we got here is the subject edges so when you open the folder you will find two layers here the black and the white edges So what you can do is you can just play with these opacities over here All right, and this layer also has uh, their layer mask so you can brush with the black if you wish to remove these edges on every area or you can also brush into this main layer mask and then you're going to remove both black and white edges or the area where you brush All right and here we got a two brightness boost layers All right, so this is the first one and this one as you can see is boosting the highlights uh, is boosting the brightness only of the subject All right and what you can do is double click here and make any changes here if you like All right and this layer here is going to just boost the uh, overall uh, brightness of the whole design alright so you can also modify the settings here of this layer what you should do is just change the opacity alright you're gonna leave it like this and here we got the sketch textures contrast so as you can see this uh, layer is going to 
add a contrast uh, only to the sketch textures right uh, it's not it doesn't affect the subject area but the background and the sketch textures and how you change the contrast is you just change the opacity right and here we got the reveal original photo layer it says here brush white it mask so if you wish to reveal the original photo or some specific area so what you need to do is just select this layer mask pick a brush tool and just choose a soft brush and send foreground color to white and you can simply brush wherever you wish to reveal your original photo right and what you can also do you can reveal it for some area like this and then you can change the opacities if you like right to make it blends better and I'm not going to use this layer in this example and here we got the reveal original colors layer it says also brush white into mask so what I'm going to do is just gonna select this layer mask and I'm going to choose the pastel brush that can be downloaded just set for color to white and you can now just simply brush over the areas that you wish to colorize with the original photo colors right so just gonna brush like this and what you can also do is you can change the size of this brush you can do it quickly using the square brackets on your keyboard All right? so just gonna do it like this and uh, you can also change the opacity here if you like All right? and the next one we got here is the color logs folder so as I had mentioned at the beginning of the video there are 35 preset color logs that you can choose from so all you have to do is to select any of those color logs, turn it on, see how it looks. If you don't like it, simply turn it off and try with another. What you can also do is you can just turn on a several color logs, for example, like this one, this one. Then you can just tweak their opacities and get some uh, unique color look. All right. And uh, in, in this example, I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to drop down its opacity a little bit and I'm going to use this one here right also going to drop down the opacity a little bit just like this next here we got the overall vibrance and saturation layer so just gonna double click here and now you can just move the slider to increase the vibrance or the saturation okay the next layer we got is the vignette effect so what you can do is you can change the opacity of this layer you can turn it off if you don't want to use the vignette effect I'm just going to leave it default alright and here we got the overall sharpening layer so the reason why I have hidden this layer at the beginning of the video is because this layer is giving the sharpening to the design uh, because if I move just to the side you'll see all these edges right that are the edges of the design and if you make any changes to the design like you remove some textures or just hide some layers and other you need to update these lines uh, as well right so the, the only way to do it is to just remove this layer and create it again because as you can see here we got these frame that I can removed now it's visible because of these layers so it needs to be updated so what you can do is just delete this layer and then press ctrl alt shift and D or command option shift and D on a keyboard to make a screenshot and then just press ctrl shift U or command shift U to desaturate this layer, go to filter, other high pass, just set the radius to two pixels and change the blending mode to hard light. Alright? And now what you can do is you can just change the opacity to adjust the sharpening. And the last layer we got here is the brush layer. So this is the brush layer created on the beginning of the video. And the reason why we have this layer over here is because this action is made so that every time you run the action, you will get unique result, even if you use the same brushed area. So if you just delete this layer here and just play the action again, you will get some unique uh, puzzle textures variation, right? So let's just quickly check the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Alright, so I hope you understood everything, but if you still need any help or got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. Thanks for watching.